have to produce all the time or I go crazy. It's really that simple. So my daughter was born when I was 24 and up until that time I tried to do regular work like fabricating and boat building and amusement park rides and whatever. Still making things but sort of regular and then when she was born, big heavy question of like, what am I, am I gonna do something I hate and teach her that that's what life is? Or am I just gonna risk everything and teach her that life is doing what you love? And so I started doing it. I'm trying to achieve two things with my work. One is to help people to recognize the humanity in women past their physical presence. And the other is to give examples or to, like this is the end result of being safe, of feeling safe. The beauty of that, of the energy that women bring into the room when they feel safe and the power of that. When I was seven years old, I was living in Berkeley and my friend Robin was over. Her mother was my mother's best friend. And um, we'd been playing, then we, she went off and did her own thing. I went off and did my own thing. So then there was a commotion outside. People were kind of freaking out. So I went to go see what was going on. And my mother told me that somebody had just grabbed her off the street and raped her. And I was seven and I, that was the first time I'd have heard about sex. Violence against kids and rape and all that stuff was all mixed in one event in my life. And it just blew my mind. I was um, just totally shocked by that. And it affected me for the rest of my life. Well, what happened to me as a kid focused me on the issue of women being raped. I mean, it really did. I thought about it all the time. Everybody that I work with has had been assaulted or raped. It's just, after a while, I started thinking, I mean, how prevalent is this? How many people, uh, this, it's ridiculous. We have to do something about this. This acceptance of it as a natural event, it's just not, reasonable to me. It, it wasn't reasonable when I was seven and it's not reasonable to me now. One of the things that just blows me away about them is that they show up anyway. They show up and express themselves to a large extent. Women do this every day. They go out in the world and be beautiful and present and even though it's dangerous. The way I work is to basically hold a safe place for the person to express themselves and just ask them to do whatever they want. I'm doing a three-part series of Giant Sculpture. Well, this is the first one. Truth is Beauty is the second one, and Revolution is the third one. Each person I've worked with has said that it changed the way they looked at themselves, and as a whole, they could love themselves and they ended up loving themselves. That was great to hear and very much my intent. And my intent is also that people who see the work feel that feeling as well. And this is what these sculptures are for, giant versions of feelings that are expressed by someone who feels safe. Shining some light on this issue Liter does really make a change. Art has changed many things in, in history and I hope we can actually make a difference. Thank you.